Well, not just the surfing community, but the business community along the coast is reeling today. The world famous Mavericks Surf Contest is in jeopardy. NBC Bay Area's Robert Honda broke the story last night, and tonight, plenty of more details. Robert joins us now from the coast with the latest. Robert. Well, you know, Raj, surfers here at Mavericks are used to being knocked down and going back out again. And that's basically the attitude we heard today. People are trying to remain optimistic, but have started to accept the fact that the contest is probably wiped out for this year. Many surfers must have felt they were hit by a rogue wave when they heard the famed surf contest organizers filed for bankruptcy. Grant Washburn, who has competed at Mavericks for the past dozen years or so, said he was stunned but acknowledged many surfers felt cartel management was in over its head. I mean, yeah, it sucks. It sucks for the whole sport. I mean, what are you going to say? Is it, how, how can it be good? So it's unfortunate. I know people are trying really hard to make it work. It's just not working. So Bianca Valenti was also surprised and sad. She wanted to make history in the contest's first ever heat for women. Personally, totally disappointed. Uh, I would have loved to be a part of it, obviously, and to try to win it. San Mateo County Harbor Commissioner Sabrina Brennan says former sponsor Red Bull's latest action is probably the final blow. Since Red Bull is now engaged in a lot lawsuit against cartel, it just doesn't seem plausible that they're going to be able to have the event. Now, in a statement sent to me today, cartel management did confirm an asset sale is underway as part of the bankruptcy procedure, but did not specify what the assets are or what their plans are for the contest. The contest window closes March 31st. Live at Pillar Point, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.